Netflix um, donates support fund amid coronavirus pandemic. They are doing their bit to help those in the TV and film industry who have lost work because of the pandemic with a $100 million support fund. Netflix is helping relieve the impact of the shutdown among the workers, among its workers. Um, the chief con mm -hmm. content officer, Ted Sarandos, said most of the fund will go towards support for the hardest hit workers on Netflix owned productions around the world. Um, $15 million will be going towards the Third parties and non profits providing emergency relief to out of work crew and cast in the countries where Netflix have a large production base. I, just, I think I just, it's very commendable. I just, I just yeah, want to commend is Netflix very, very for this. Man. This is so commendable. Like, when I read this, I'm like, wow, th this is far from our reality right mm, here, man. Very, because very, very the, the average Nigerian MD CEO's resume starts at hiring and firing. However, don't forget then, that Netflix. Yeah. Is still one of those that yes everybody's going to be affected by this pandemic, but, but they are still on at the good part, part of the bargain, right? Yeah, yeah. but but at the end of the day, they they don't have to do but that. But they don't. Yeah, have they to don't do have to. That's I'm just saying. So they didn't have to do this. The whole of the MDA CEOs. No, I'm just saying. Because a lot of I mean, How many CEOs companies? Are how money. many how many companies in Nigeria? Mm. It's Netflix not losing money. To some extent, to some extent, because they have to focus on production currently, and that's a lot of money. The point is, my point is the fact that. They could think this up. Of course, they will. You know, it's part yeah. of their CSR. Even, even for most, so even yeah, for most organizations in Nigeria <laughs> to let their workers stay, stay, stay home, they wouldn't even do it. You know, because it's just that mojo they get by seeing everybody at work. I mean, we die. We got to come here and work together and die here together. <laughs> you know, talk more of pain. People who are not coming to work. That is quite commendable. As I just with many organizations with cities, and I mean, cities are something they can do, and also extend it if they, it, can, afford if they it. can afford it. You know, and the least. Tell those people who don't have to be at work daily to stay back home. Mm -hmm. I think we should seek ways to decongest as much as possible the workplace. And kudos to the governor, executive governor of Lagos State, yeah. and Babajide Saonuli has done something excellently. Well. I, I think he's, he's so proactive and forefront at, at, at this right now. I just feel, he, I feel he's my president right now because there's so much measures he's taking and putting in place to make sure this does not go beyond what it is in Lagos State. I don't know the Lagos leads. So. Mm -hmm. He has asked all, he has all, he has all state workers to stay back home for the next 14 from days. Level one to you know, and so, mm -hmm. which is pretty much commendable. And so for Net Netflix to have done this, yeah, of course. Yeah. We, we can't take that away from yeah. them. So I wanted to say that Netflix is actually not the only company that has done that. Okay. Apple has done that. Google also has, you know, different companies. Also I mean, have, Google said they yeah. work from home from like work a from month home. ago. Even they before all their staff from traveling a month ago. So, so they are, they have been, yeah. you can see that a lot of international companies are at the forefront of this and they're taking initiative and they're, you know, putting regulations in place yes. to ensure that people are not suffering during this period because they understand at the end of the day, it feels like people are finally putting humanity first um, and also, when you look at some countries also who have also created a relief fund for, Canada. you know, for some of their citizens yeah. who are homeless, who don't have jobs, you know, different stuff. And that's why um, when I look at Nigeria and I wonder if something like that can happen, <laughs> if we were to have a shutdown, looking at the increase, you know, in coronavirus oh, cases. Lewa. Because, you know, people keep on saying, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people say that, okay, we need to shut down our economy, people need to stop working. And I'm like, we have a huge percentage of our population that live on whatever it is that they can find today. Mm -hmm. There are so many people that don't, you know, I've seen so many advices, go and stock up, go and do this, but there are a lot of Nigerians that stock cannot up on which money? <clears throat> that, there are a lot of Nigerians that cannot afford that. So I'm wondering what is it when if this thing grows beyond this, what plans does our government have? I remember for someone people was who don't saying have enough that, money. Um, if it was time for elections now, you see they political would, you parties know, they would distribute rice, rice they would distribute you gari, your needs, and that. So I feel I like we need something like that right now. We After need that right now. For 2023, right? So they should yeah. use this yeah, so they, should, they can use this to start, you know, their, their yeah. campaign. People you know, need this yeah. now. Another thing this is thrown out for, for many people to understand, um, especially the employees of labor, is that because many some, some of countries of the world have shut down the economy already. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If there happens to be a shutdown right now, how remotely can people work from home? People should start thinking about it right now. The world is going digital, like in our sphere right now, we're media. If, that, if government should consider there's a, there's, a, there's a total shutdown, how can we remotely work from home? I'm going to Skype you guys. I mean, people <laughs> okay. should start.